Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your reading for mid-March 2023. We're just going to jump right in here. I have this card that says, know that you are safe and protected. You also have this card that says, you will be blessed more than you could ever imagine. There you go. <laughs> so that's amazing, Pisces. Could be some sort of blessing or there could be blessings uh, coming in for you uh, after the middle of the month or somewhere around there. So we'll have to see. Uh, let me fix that real quick. And... Um, then we're going to keep going. I think this deck is upside down. I don't read reversals anyway. But you start off with the Nine of Wands. And the Nine of Wands is about having healthy boundaries or just having boundaries in general. I think that, you know, for, you know, this month, I would say like into April as well, it would be a great time for you to uh, protect your time. So I would make sure that, you know, people aren't taking up too much of your time. I, I would make sure that you're only giving time to things that are like worth it, that are leading to some sort of transformation. You have this transformation card here or, you know, something, right? So I would make sure to put up boundaries with the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is also my card of experimentation. So it is my card of throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks. And I think it would be an amazing time for you to experiment or try new things, which always comes up for you. And, you know, I, I would say this could be in any area of your life, like any area that you're trying to improve or you're trying to grow in or any area of your life that you're trying to see some sort of change in. That's exactly where I would experiment. The funny thing is, is that you have the Six of Pentacles as your crossing energy and you have the Knight of Pentacles in the area of your thoughts. You know, six of the crossing energy can be what hurts you or helps you. And the Six of Pentacles is my card of planting seeds, you know, basically coming up with an experiment or an idea uh, to improve your life and needing to put the energy in to see what works. So, you know, Six of Pentacles can represent equal give and take, but, you know, it can also represent, um, you know, experimentation or planting seeds, like I said. And the, six, the Knight of Pentacles as well is showing up in the area of your thoughts. And the Knight of Pentacles, he has ideas. He actually has these oak leaves on his helmet here. And oak leaves in the tarot basically say that he has all the knowledge and wisdom necessary to be very successful, but he has to take action to prove it. He has to do something to put that knowledge and wisdom into practice. So, you know, he has to like show the world what he's capable of, which I feel definitely comes up for you all the time, Pisces. It's like you have all this potential, but you just have to show it, right? The Six of Pentacles, I also feel is kind of like saying things have not been, um, you know, it's like maybe you feel like things haven't been fair. I, I would say like, I don't know that it, it it's necessarily saying things have not been fair, you know, or that you're like, I don't think you're being ungrateful is really what I'm trying to say or, or whatever. You know, I think you put in work to make things happen. And then when they don't happen, uh, it's a little bit frustrating, right? So, you know, I feel for some of you, it's kind of like you put in all this work to uh, create progress and then there's like been no progress with the Six of Pentacles. So, you know, again, I feel like I've said to you many times before, I feel that Pisces is entering into a time where there will finally be progress based off of what they're working on. You have the Three of Pentacles here. here here's the progress. This is showing up in the area of your foundation. Three of Pentacles is a card of showing your work. Like he has those three pentacles above his head there. And the Three of Pentacles is a card of quality work as well. So I feel for a lot of you that, um, you know, it's like the work that you do, of course, is quality. And you could be being recognized for the quality of the work that you're doing. Uh, this is an amazing card for getting a raise, getting a promotion, anything like that. It's also a great card for working on a team or working together with other people. So if you're doing any like teamwork or, um, you know, collaborative work, now is definitely a good time for that. And Pluto and Aquarius, I always say, you know, Pluto and Aquarius is amazing for um, collaborating on projects, working together with other people, you know, any of that stuff is is very beneficial. So I would definitely do that. You have the Four of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles is a card of stability. He is kind of like sitting here and this is coming up in your past position. I do feel like you are showing up here with a little bit of fixed energy. It's kind of funny. I'm going to show you these two Oracle cards that came out here, but they're kind of like contradictory. Like one says darkness looms on the horizon. The other one says bright new prospects are on the horizon. You know, they're kind of uh, contradicting each other. And so I feel for some of you, maybe you have had a certain mindset or you've been thinking about the future, right, in general. And maybe you've been thinking about it a little bit more negatively. And I kind of feel that this is saying, well, actually, there are ways where you could make it more positive. And, you know, that could be what we're seeing here, Pisces, is that, you know, with these two cards, again, you have this raven says darkness looms on the horizon. You have the serendipity card says uh, bright new prospects 
uh, what does it say? <laughs> Bright new prospects are on the horizon. So it's almost like you get to choose uh, what is coming in for you in the future. The Four of Pentacles says, you know, shake it off. Like that's really what I feel on that Four of Pentacles. I'm not really getting traditional Four of Pentacles energy, which Four of Pentacles holding on too tightly the past. I don't actually hate the Four of Pentacles. You know, Four of Pentacles can be financial stability and things like that. But I kind of get this like shake it off energy. But I mean, shake it off as in, you know, believe that the that things are not in the future are not yet set in stone. Believe that there are bright new prospects on the horizon. And you know, I think when if you kind of get your brain looking for those opportunities, you will find them. You have the death card and you also have this butterfly card that says transformations are beautiful. So this is coming up in your very near future. I kind of feel that there is going to be a little bit of a sudden change coming in in the future. I feel that some of you could be making some sudden changes or, you know, that these might not even be sudden changes for you. They might be more sudden for other people. I kind of feel like Pisces does this, right? <laughs> I think us Pisces, we can actually think about doing something for a very long period of time. And then we actually, we do it, What you know, whatever the change is. And, but we like, you know, the people around us don't necessarily um, haven't seen all like the thinking that has gone into it or all the daydreaming and all that other stuff. So like, that's what I mean by a sudden change. You could be making a change that people just don't, you know, don't understand, but who cares? You have this caution card says more going out than, than coming in. Again, this entire year, I would keep an eye on your finances. I, I, I like, I wouldn't worry about finances. I would just keep an eye on them. It's just that simple. So it says, what's going on inside of you is triggering bad money behavior. It says, reevaluate your priorities as you are risking a substantial loss. So I'd keep an eye on your finances. Based off the rest of the reading, wouldn't really worry about it. We're going to clarify. We'll see what comes up. You have this transporter card. It says, things will manifest much sooner than you think. There you go. Uh, this is an excellent time to travel for work or to refresh your mind. I also feel like some of you could be moving. Um, you know, again, you're going to have Jupiter is going to be moving into your fourth house if in Gemini is your fourth house and you know, I would say that it wouldn't really surprise me if you're like expanding your expanding your place in the world, moving, traveling, uh, making changes to the home. Uh, you know, a lot of people would, would say that Jupiter moving into the fourth is like something having to do with your home, expanding your home, um, you know, uh, fixing your home up or, you know, things like beautifying your home even, uh, things like that. But, um, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Based off of everything else that's going on for Pisces, I'm wondering if Pisces is more expanding in the world. The world is your home. It's like you could be um, expanding in the world or um, making changes in how you're seen in the world and, you know, all that other stuff as well. So, you know, I, it, this doesn't really surprise me. Uh, next, over the next few months, you have the Magician. The magician is about reinvention. And again, you have this butterfly card. Butterflies, you know, caterpillar goat turns into a butterfly. That is a form of reinvention. So I feel that you are going to be going through a, a reinvention over the next few months at least. And it, 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 I think this is something that you've been preparing for for a very long period of time. I think that people are going to see you as being very different Um you know, as kind of like changed or different in some way. I feel like there could be certain people in your life that almost feel like they didn't know you, but not like, I don't mean this in a bad way. It's like, you know, I think could people take it as a bad thing? Sure, but that's on them. You know, I think for the most part, people, it's going to be more like, wow, I didn't realize, you know, Pisces was capable of doing that, you know, whatever it is that you're accomplishing at this time. So, you know, that's kind of what I feel here. I also feel that it is an amazing time for manifestation. You know, depending on, I am going to put this video out before the Pisces new moon, but if you're, even if you're watching it after the Pisces new moon, doesn't matter. It's on the 10th and um, doesn't matter. Amazing time for manifestation. Uh, you know, I would say that you're entering into a time of manifestation where you could be, there could be heightened manifestations as well for you, Pisces. The other thing is I always pull the card that he's pointing to, which is right here. And it says, you will get what you wish for, but is it truly what you want? So be careful what you wish for. Although I do feel like you are getting things um, that you wish for here, Pisces. So I, you know, I do like to see that. Uh, in the area of your closest relationships, you have the 10 of wands. Um, I don't know. It doesn't really surprise me that Pisces would be more withdrawn as far as friendships are concerned right now. Saturn in your first house, I mean, uh, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I think it's, you know, I, I don't think it's a terrible social year and I would encourage you to socialize, of course, just because the astrology is like, oh, you pr might not be socializing. That does not mean that you shouldn't be socializing, right? Um, so again, Saturn the first, though, I think can make Pisces or is making Pisces a little bit more withdrawn, a little bit more, you know, focusing on behind the scenes work or um, building work, building something. And again, the Ten of Wands, I actually personally like the Ten of Wands because there's this home in the background here. 
and he's about to have a harvest. So again, it could it, this could be saying that you're finishing up a harvest and when you do, then you will end up being more social or then you will end up wanting to socialize more. Uh, and, but but what I will say is, again, according to your future feelings here, you have the hermit. So the hermit says that you might be feeling like a little bit of a hermit. I really feel you need to start, you know, being more brash, more bold, more, you know, it's the year of the dragon this year and year of the dragon is all about being bold, you know, really going for what you want. And he has this star in his lantern. Uh, but I always say with the hermit that he really needs to shine that star all over the place. You know, it's like he's earned his right. Here's the thing that I like to say about the hermit as well is like, he's not bragging. <laughs> he has earned his right. He's gone through, he has climbed to the top of that mountain, right? He's done the work. He has, he has the evidence to back up, you know, any, anything that he is, you know, talking about or sharing or whatever. It's like, he has the experience. And I think you need to realize that Pisces, that it's like, you have the experience, you have the, the, um, the, uh, whatever you call it to shine your inner light. And I feel it's time. And so it, it is not time for Pisces to necessarily be withdrawn is what I would say with this hermit card. I feel like it's time for you to like take center stage. And I know I say this every single reading, but you know, I really feel like I need to encourage Pisces to keep, you know, to do it, to, to really work towards it. Cause again, it will change your life and it will make you feel really amazing. Right. Uh, next you have this in the area of your outcome. You have the queen of pentacles. I really like this. Um, you know, again, this is, I really wouldn't worry about money. You have that card that says something about caution about money, but queen of pentacles, she is very resourceful and she focuses on the resources that she has. I think that if you can, um, you know, focus on your resources, you'll be very successful. I want to show you something. One of my, one of my favorite books of all times. I, I have multiple copies of this book right here, Skip the Line by James Altucher. In this book, he talks about um, some sort of rule. I failed math my whole entire life, so I can't. I, I don't actually know how the math works in what he's talking about, but he talks about the 64-4 rule or something like that. It's like the 80-20 of the 80-20. I don't really understand it, but the point being is that, you know, again, he talks about how people who are very successful have like seven sources of income, right? But it's like, it would be impossible or it's hard to work on like seven things all at once. But he believes that if you could take like the 80-20 of the 80-20 of seven different, of seven different, you know, side hustles or whatever, you just did just a little bit of what's important that you would be very successful. It would almost be like if I, you know, like my monthly readings usually are the ones that do best on this channel. So it's like if I cut, uh, got rid of the weeklies and only focused on the monthlies and like the yearlies, right? And then I took the rest of that time that I saved on weeklies and did something else. And, you know, I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm just giving you an example here, Pisces. Um, you know, I think that if you could become more efficient in that way, like what is the 80-20 of the 80-20 of what you do? I always look at, you know, this card is Capricorn. And I think Capricorn's karma right now is to learn 80-20, is to learn how to be efficient. And yes, I understand that you're not Capricorn, but this is important for what I'm trying to tell you. Um, that, you know, again, I think if you could look at the 80-20 of the 80-20, uh, that you would be very successful. I don't know. There you go. I, again, you're going to have to read the book, figure out math, and there you go, right? <laughs> you have this antelope spirit. It says life is speeding up. You have this butterfly. It says transformation is beautiful. Yes, it is. You're going through a transformation. Things are speeding up. There's no doubt about that. And, you know, I think that you are, you know, things are changing for you for the better. So I definitely like to see that for you, Pisces. But uh, we're going to, sorry, I wanted to switch, but uh, we're going to clarify here through this reading and see what comes up. With the Nine of Wands and the Six of Pentacles here, you have the Five of Wands. Five of Wands is conflict and competition, but it's like learning from conflict and competition. So these people on this card, they are learning how to fight. They're using sticks, they're not using swords. So again, a lot of you could be in this period of life where you are you have, but I kind of feel this is something that's been going on. Like you've been learning from competition. And you know, again, there's a difference between comparing yourself to others and just learning. And that's what I, I feel like you're just learning uh, here in this situation. It's not necessarily you comparing, right? With the Knight of Pentacles, you have the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, I really feel that Pisces is kind of sitting on treasure, you know? Um, I think that you have a lot of ideas. I think that there are, you know, a lot of your ideas could be very successful, but obviously you have to plant those seeds. And that's what I would encourage you to do. Six of Pentacles, like try, you know, Six of Pentacles is about trying like the tiniest little piece of something, planting a seed, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't work, and then, um, you know, kind of doubling down on what's growing. And that's what I would do here with this energy. And I know I say that to you all the time, but that's what I would do. Uh, I literally do do it. So there you go. With the Three of Pentacles, you have the Six of Wands. You have big victory coming in for you. A lot of attention coming in for you as well. 
And, you know, again, I would try to get that attention, whatever you can do. Uh, if you are trying to grow a business, get attention. If you're trying to find love, for example, get attention. Obviously, you're going to have to, people are going to have to know who you are to fall in love with you, Pisces. So, you know, I would get out there and get attention. I also feel, you know, I, lo I love this because, you know, Three of Pentacles and that Six of Swords, they're both cards of recognition. So I feel for a lot of you that you could be getting rec like the recognition you, you deserve finally on the work that you're doing or that you have done. And that could be great. With the Four of Pentacles, you have the, um, the Queen of Cups here. One thing I will tell you is that one of my favorite people of all time, Greg Braden says, you know, when your head and your heart become one right here, you can move mountains. And she is all about following your heart. So I think that if you could bring your head and your heart into alignment, that you could be accomplishing quite a bit. Uh, with the death card, you have the six of pentacles, which you have twice here. So again, six of pentacles is the thing that is gonna cause the most change in your life is pretty much what this is saying. So I feel for those of you that are trying to grow in, in life or in business or whatever, that experimentation is gonna be your best friend at this time. I also feel that some of you could be valuing yourself more and kind of like making sure that you're getting what you deserve out of the things that you work on. That was a mouthful, but it's like if you're working on, you know, working for a boss and you're not getting paid your worth, I, I kind of see you with the hermit even standing up for yourself more, you know, asking for raise, promotion, making sure you're getting paid your worth, like I said. With the magician, here you go. You have the Ten of Cups, fortune after difficulty. So Ten of Cups is amazing. Definitely uh, happy. You know, this is a card of happy home, happy family. Uh, could also be love coming in for you as well. So, you know, whatever you want, you can attract with the magician. Uh, you are clearly in this time of heightened manifestation, like I said. So I would, you know, practice law of attraction or, do, you know, do whatever you can to manifest the things that you want. A uh, Ten of Cups is also fortune after difficulty. So like I said, I kind of feel like there is this breath of fresh air over the next few months, even starting now. I don't think this is not something like you're going to be waiting for. I feel this is something that you are starting now, like right now. Today is March 8th. So, you know, you probably have already started in, at the beginning of March-ish, somewhere around there, uh, to create these improvements. I even feel that you feel a little bit more positive. You know, I don't think things are perfect. Maybe um, you've been kind of like a little bit uncertain about the future based off your astrology, but I think you're kind of now feeling a little bit more positive, a little bit more hopeful. Again, maybe not perfect, but you're getting there. With the Ten of Wands, you have the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords can be lying, cheating, stealing, but as I always say, that's not really what it means. I mean, it can, but you know, really what it means is it's a card of tactics. He is stealing those swords from an army in the background here. So it says, instead of going to war, um, you know, can you, can you be tactical, right? Can you do something in a different way? And that's what I would be looking at here. I would also say that like, if there are people in your life that are trying to cause burdens, uh, I wouldn't like fight or argue with those people. I would, again, I would just be tactical, um, with how you deal with those people. And, you know, again, that's what I would do here, right? Plain and simple. With the hermit, are you kidding? <laughs> you have the hermit again. So, uh, you know, that's really funny. Like I said, whenever you have repeating cards, it's basically it's the universe saying I meant what I said. So, you know, again, I feel that for some of you that this is about needing to stand out. The other interesting thing is, is that, again, I think that some of you are standing out and uh, could be getting attention all of a sudden. And, you know, that so... You know, it's kind of interesting because I kind of see you as like a little bit of a dark horse where, you know, people are like, where the hell did Pisces come from? You know, and I've said this to you before, but that's literally your astrology. That's like what you've been working on for three years now, at least um, pro longer. But, you know, specifically what you've been working on for the past three years could be the thing that makes you like a dark horse. Right. And so you could be really kind of like popping up out of nowhere here. Uh, with the Queen of Pentacles, you have the Three of Swords. Some of you could be healing from a heartbreak or something, but this could also be about forgiveness and um, needing to forgive a past situation or needing to forgive something like, um, you know, I, this could even be like money blocks, for example, needing to forgive yourself for, you know, financial mistakes or that you've made in the past and all that other stuff. When we forgive that, we pull those swords out of our heart and we can heal. So that's what I would do there. But Pisces, we're gonna pull five main themes for you now for the rest of the month. You have this appreciation card. Yes, if you want to attract abundance, being grateful for what you do have is the best thing you can do. Uh, this right here 
is a cornucopia, and cornucopias uh, represent abundance. So definitely abundance. You have this patience card here. I feel like you're sick of being patient. I totally get it. <laughs> uh, I kind of see this as love. So for those of you that have been patient in love and who want love, I, like I feel like you've been very patient waiting for love or whatever, but I, love is changing for Pisces. So, you know, again, there could be, I, I think you've been patient, but there's probably love coming in for you in the future. You have this decision card. I, do, pick the new choice is what I would say. You have this transporter card. It says there's an, uh, this is an excellent time for, um, for an uh, excellent time to travel, if I can talk today, for work or to refresh your mind. But sometimes I look at travel as making a decision. So I feel that there could be, you know, any choices that you're making, pick the new choice, including if you're moving, I would definitely move. You have this friendship card. I think you need friends who support you, uh, who, who create stability in your life. So I would make sure that you uh, focus on, you know, finding friends who are supportive uh, and who really lift you up. You have this independence card though. So <laughs> I don't know, you could be working on your independence at this time. And uh, you know, again, you could be working on focusing on your independence. Again, you have this card that says you will be blessed more than you could ever imagine. And I think the secret here, Pisces, is that you have to get started on whatever you've been thinking about. That's where the blessings are going to come from. And I know I always say this and you know, people love to tell me you always say that. I'm like, well, like why haven't you done it yet, Pisces, right? I just wanna get one more outcome. Yeah, you have the submission card. You need to set yourself free. This bird is in this cage, but the cage door is open. So I feel that for a lot of you, this is saying that once you set yourself free and get started, you're gonna feel so much better. So there you go, Pisces. Looks pretty good though. I feel that it's kind of like boring at the same time because you're probably just doing what you've been doing, although a little bit more positive. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your month.